Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Road from and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we have been intercepted by the Russians. Oh no, but it's all according to my dastardly plan. The aim is to use Sigmund Lenz here to break these two armies open and then have my reinforcing army advance east to potentially uh, engage any remaining forces in the area. Well, it remains to be seen if they'll get within range of Vilnius, but we'll soon find out. Uh, my army's in pretty good shape. The enemy's got a bunch of cavalry. We've got glorious pikemen and some bugged units. So my commander's got 220 general's bodyguard, got 225 lance guards, and a 225 crew for my <laughs> heavy horse howitzer unit. So let's crack on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to start. Well, we're at the phase now where we can do as much fancy maneuvering on a campaign level as you like now you just need to start bashing your head against the front line and preventing uh preventing them from being able to redeploy their troops elsewhere ultimately these armies won't they won't go anywhere unless we destroy them so let's start cranking up the pressure in the west oh rain so, oh see so because i get a bugged howitzer unit there seems to be like an odd relationship between crew and um, the number of guns you get. So strictly speaking, they should have five guns. But because it's bugged and it's given me loads more, I've now got six. Hmm. So let's pick up my infantry. And then drop them down. Not entirely sure where the enemy uh, reinforcements are coming in from. Uh, let's put my infantry on the left. So then my foot artillery. Let's drop them both here. I mean, my howitzers just need to start doing work. Let's probably take a unit of Lancer Guards over on the left. Okay, so... Oh, you're not unlimbered, that's not helpful. My 12-pounders can go for the cavalry, because if they miss... Oh, there we go, that's triggered them to begin their attack early. But because it's raining, the sound's going to be messed up. Okay, so... I mean, it's not... I mean, vis visibility during... I mean, I'm sure that's... That's the point, but visibility, I don't know, rain, regardless of the sound issues, it's just visibly not a fun environment to play in. Let's push my line up in general. Quick climb, quick climbers are doing just good stuff. My lances will be able to tear, actually I want to make sure because sometimes this has happened before, where my effects and stuff have... <sighs> I mean, you guys are aware, this is a problem that, for some reason, I've got. Okay, all of this line, just deploy into square, because the cavalry are coming. Lancers, go for the go for the light horse. So it wouldn't be as epic as it could be, because for some reason, you can hear the sound of the rain. Did very little damage on the charge. See, it's all just enemy cavalry. Yeah, General's bodyguard. Yeah, well, you can do what you like to try and get him. But ultimately, yeah, this, this side unit will fall. 12 pounders retarget the garrison guards. So that's some enemy cavalry that have charged our line. Sick light horse, but they'll be repelled. Ultimately, they've advanced. Well, they've got a lot of cavalry, so understandably they've gone cavalry heavy. But it will work against them in the grand scheme. The Tsar Guards have lost circa 80 men. I mean, it's, yeah, the sound, these sound issues are just... I mean, I've got Friday installing it and reinstalling it. For some reason, it just decides that, nah, you know what? 
this is how it's going to be. Okay, you guys can both get out of get out of square formation and advance. Ah, they broke off attacking this square and went to attack you. Okay, my left flank is going to push up. But my right flank, sorry, is going to push up quite aggressively because we've got some good positioning opportunities here. Get the pikes up, get the cavalry up. More cavalry coming in. Hussars driving through into the woods against the 113th. They're also being backed up by... Yeah, I was, I was wondering if... Because my lance has kind of started slowing down. It's like, usually, they like doing that. Let's bring my general's bodyguard in to do some work. Because it looks like they might go for my guns, because now there's a bit of a gap. But it's the advantage of having so many crew. Any crewmen we lose can be easily replaced. There we go. So we're starting our regular engagements. Let's keep my howitzers firing at suitable targets. I want to pull my lancer guards out of this combat. So you don't ever really want to just blindly... Blindly chart. <clears throat> Sorry. Just a second. You don't want to end up just blindly charging into enemy infantry, so pull my cavalry back. Pull my infantry back. I don't I can't don't really have good visibility on what's going on. Ah, okay, you men can't form. Okay, right, my invisibility here is pretty shocking. Let's bring my general's bodyguard over to the center. Infantry can get out of square. Because we do have an infantry push on our line. Send my heavy cavalry towards their rear. General's body. No, you men don't do that. So my infantry is going to pull, pull right back. The one unit that's currently engaged is going to stay engaged. Freikor line, because they're going to try and buy me time. Okay, that's cavalry. Yeah, fine. General's bodyguard. Keep engaging the enemy cavalry in the gaps. The cavalry that's over in the rear. Yeah, we're wasting shots. There you go, that unit finally broke in the centre. But she chiefly I wanted to pull back. Make a bit of space. And the mercenaries will go down. The Cossacks are upset. But you men, there you go. You're about facing. Fire at will. Ready. Even more cavalry. Pushing through and causing trouble. But there we go. My line infantry guards can open up. So they're trying to push our flank. Enemy reinforcements coming in from over there. Not so worried about them. But yeah, when you're fighting in woodland and it's all misty and horrible, God, it's difficult to see what's going on. Actually, you no, know, you guys keep pushing up. Maybe you guys get over there to help the cavalry on the far flank. No, don't want to send my cavalry into the maelstrom. 
this is what it wanted to happen, though. So we've pulled back <laughs> using the woods to anchor ourselves. We use, well, forcing the enemy to have to advance out of the cover of the woods so we get better a better understanding of what's actually happening because inside the woods it's real difficult. Yeah, they're engaging my cuirassier. Even over here to attack Germany's bodyguard. General, no. Do not push. Howitzers to the rear, engage the reinforcements. All of them. And my right flank can advance. These units advance up through the woods, or towards the woods. My pikemen are holding steady position on the line. They're shattered, so bring my lances back. Some good quick climb hits. Kill the enemy general. Get my hussars back behind the lines, lest they die. We'll get two over the shot. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see the ones that couldn't shoot, didn't Okay, that's the woods secured. So we want to push up ahead of the woods as quickly as possible and not let the enemy get into position. See all of you can actually do that. Keep pushing the right flank. Obviously you're inside another set of woods. How it's the how Hussars can cover this high ground on the right. Cavalry's pretty good. Covers reinforcing General's bodyguard. He's going to keep an eye on the left flank. How it says open fire onto the Cossacks. Foot artillery limber up. Could have been a real good hit. Like that. That's a good hit. Okay. General's pushing up. Pike's pushing up. Oh, it says... Yeah, they're okay where they are. If I want to get some extra... Oh, wow. Look at that. I don't mind if we get into a bit of melee combat here and there. Human form square, that's seen the uh, Cossacks off. Human aim at the regiment of foot that's advancing. Bring the cavalry in, he's got a unit of militia advancing. So my infantry are forced into squares to deal with the cavalry. That's why I need hussars to come in. Get my line infantry guard stuck in on the flank. How oh, it's as you two may limber up. Put artillery in advance. I mean, what we want to get to is that feature there. Really, that's where we want to be. They'll let us get there. That's another question, but we'll try. All of you men except cavalry. One of you still in square, so I look select and deselect square for everyone. All of you push up, SARS. Go wide. Artillery just advance. There we go, you take took out the infantry. Excellent. Oh, how cute. They're going to form a line. I think. 
My guys have got something to tell them. Charge! Don't let them... <laughs> they broke. Beautiful. Right, form up. Okay, now let's very delicately form up our line because we, we will need to push up ahead of where we currently are because we're in a bit of a defilade cavalry no not that general my main general my other general gun battle in the trees has begun Cossacks are charging after my cavalry bring in the hussars Charging my line. Oh no. You're gonna have to tag those Cossacks. Let's commit the 116th against the 39th. Newman advance down the hill. Bring in the Curacier. left flank okay, this is just to buy time it will cost me my hussars either line infantry guards charge the 39th in the rear how about you these are foot guards they're not going to screw around Break the 39th, then we can roll on into whoever we like. Actually, the general will carry on. Attack their artillery. New men advance down the hill, new men push the flank. There we go, they think they're leading them to safety. Militia are already wavering. They've broken. It's just these Cossacks now. Oh, another unit of militia, I'm sorry. And a regular unit of line. Form square, because that cavalry unit that routed through our lines has come back. In the most classic manner. Good old fashioned melee fight, eh? So you will never want to count the Russians out when it comes to a melee fight. They've got good capabilities, but we've got a whole bunch of decent line infantry that's going to swarm them from every direction. Including some pretty awesome line infantry guards. See, this unit of Freikorps that have seen their other unit retreat, they will not break quite so easily. Yeah, it's unsurprising to see you waver. All of you guard mode off. Slaughter them! Kill them all! Of course, many of them as you can get your hands on. Maybe not so much the militia. But there we go. Awesome. So we didn't cause any damage to the army that came in to reinforce us. I mean, we did lose a bunch of men. So you men replenish. Oh, it's the Hussars we don't have any longer. Very well. Oh, get another. Mr. Tobelman. You're waiting for a gun team, are you not? But that should be fine. Although... No, let's, let's keep one army actually in good condition. 
just in case the enemy doesn't think to surprise us. Upgrade the boarding house, upgrade these military buildings. You can recruit 10. You've got, we've got 10 spaces. You don't need Jaeger because you've already got sharpshooters. Potentially... Two Fusiliers and a West European Mercenary unit. There we go. Two, four turns till you're ready. That's okay. Just occupy, get a light galley to occupy the port for now. Infrastructure's good. Okay, just, just, just start spending money. Let's get these areas in tip-top condition. Obviously, you're a bit of an annoyance. Although, that's probably what you're going to deal with. You're going to come out there and attack them, because I expect they're going to come out there and raid. So we might... Well, we'll see about destroying this, if it's necessary. Because I don't want to pull out of Petrovskaya just yet. And yeah, you're holding back Baghdad, but you will go north to attack Ardabil and Yerevan. Uh, Jerusalem... Okay, now I think might be the time. Isidore Rat Ratzlaff. Let's try and recruit a native army. Or well, at least an African native army. Stats wise, they aren't as good as actual trained European infantry, but I think it had a bit of good variety. So we've got our artillery contingent. We can't get any we can't get most of these exotic infantry types. But we can get Oh, it's very laggy. Yeah, the only cavalry can actually get are camel mercenaries. That's it. camel mercenaries and colonial light cavalry. Let's get two colonial lights. Actually, because we're not going to have as good cavalry, I may get a third howitzer. Okay, good. Let's kick that off. Let's get some port upgrades. We can now replenish the naval hospital here. Or repair the naval hospital, I should say. Upgrade the army board. Upgrade the gunnery school. Good. 4,000. Get some more economy upgrades, although I'm up to one, down to 1,000, so I doubt there is a huge amount I can do. You're actually in good shape. So, let's send a sloop up to have a look at what's the deal in Reykjavik. Because their army's gone. Oh, there it is. Okay. So what I don't... Oh. It's tricky. I want to attack Iceland, but at the same time, it makes it, it appears the Mughals are happy to just own Iceland. So I probably am going to keep you here just as a, you know, a bit of a, a bit of a reaction force, if you will, rather than do anything too exotic with you. Miss, so you're waiting on a gun team. Yes, I'm sure it's a gun team. Oh, there you are. Oh, rocket team, my mistake. Um, so in terms of research, nothing immediately is going to happen. We're demolishing Mosul to help bring Baghdad into the fold. Yeah, let's keep keep the squeeze going and keep upgrading our economy. Ultimately, once we've taken Europe, we'll be driving down into India. Well, I'm not going to intercept that. That is a pointless action. <laughs> then they just run around us. Perfect. Uh, but yes. So once we take once we've taken Europe, we've pretty much broken the back of the entire campaign because we'll have we'll be able to swarm India because India is actually quite small, and we'll be able to roll over the Americas. 
because we'll just have a ludicrous amount of um, firepower to bring to bear. The Ottomans are going to try and steal our technologies, and they are more than welcome to try. It will not save them. They're, yeah, they're, 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 the, the fragments of that army we've just fought are regrouping. But yeah, at some point I need to learn. I do need to lance that uh, boil at Transylvania. Yeah, they're going to go raid that mine, in which case I will stop the upgrade. I'll stop the upgrade of the mine just to stop us from losing too much money. And to be honest, they may just go on a raiding campaign all the way up around this area, in which case, have at it, good sirs. So I'm not going to upgrade the iron mine either. Because there's a chance that they just go carry. There's a chance they just carry on and just, just keep raiding. It's your two turns off of being your upgrades being finished. So let's get some guns. Do a bunch of upgrades. So not so worried about this fellow here. So now we have the rockets. Here we did start to rec we did start to replenish you. So this blocking force is going to go up here. Actually, no, I may as well choose you. Get onto the bridge. Keep the reinforcements coming. You've got three slots. It appears that you're not recruiting anything for them unless. Okay, right. You may have. I don't think you've got. I think there's one more thing you can. You've got space force. You're getting two more units of infantry. Of interesting looking infantry at that. So let's just get you a unit of. Yeah, let's get more rockets. Although the rockets have to come all the way from Paris. So let's not do that. Let's just get a regular unit of line infantry. Yeah, so this is part of the problem now about not having upgraded military production on the front lines is that it still mostly has to come from the west if we want to recruit exotic units. Okay, upgrading these commercial bases is going to suck a lot of cash up. 18,000 down to Baghdad. So recruit a militia unit to go Raid Basra, Balthazar Farber. You men can move out then to defend Baghdad itself. Go for a whole bunch of infantry plus some light infantry. Let's upgrade our military production here as well because you will be wanting it to push east into Persia. You can head up to Ardabil. We can repair these buildings in Syria. Come on. Okay, on the article, I think the howitzers are coming from Egypt. To be honest, it's probably easier if I just recruit direct from Damascus, because at least I can see what we've got. And the answer is not a huge amount. That's all our money used up. We're going to over to Mr. Muller. Although you, okay, you've got space to recruit stuff as well. Okay, I think. The, oh, I think it's a photo. I don't, oh, see, this is going to be... That is a serious concentration of enemy troops right there. <laughs> That's a lot of enemy troops. If they're going to fight, I want them to attack me so that at least the battle clock is on my side. But you men are going to push up to these mountains. You are going to push up to here. 
keep them keep them threatened. That's the thing to do. Work is right in Courland. Okay, so we are going to have a rebellion, but I think that's kind of to be expected from Corlin. You could do with a bit of a garrison, to put, so you could push out. But again, I think we've got a lot of stuff we can do. Workers are on strike in Mesopotamia. Not anymore. Um, I might even actually get rid of some of this so I can upgrade Mosul to a church school, just so I can start converting... The Islamic population to good old Catholics. Yeah, right now, yeah, Russia is just amassing. And it's going to take a f oh, it's, it's just very difficult to push through where they are massing. I mean, I'm going to... I don't want... Uh, no, I'm not going to. Resist the temptation, because there's a Russian army just to the east of that garrison guard unit. So if I auto-resolved, I'd take damage. Ah, they used to run, they run around me. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I think I need to focus my... Focus my efforts in one area, rather than... Trying to impact the whole front. I think I'll focus on knocking out the Ottomans. Just take them out. Then we can push up into the Don and in Crimea. Add some extra front lines for Russia to deal with. They're reinforcing Iasi because they see that we're moving on it. But overall... Yeah, Persia's going to increasingly become a problem. But if, if we defend... Uh, Baghdad sufficiently, it won't be too much of an issue. Yeah, they raided the mines. It's not my biggest concern. So yeah, I want to focus on... Okay, let's send Sigmund over the strait into Ankara. So you men have one 24-pound heavy horse artillery unit. You can get... One, two twelves. You're not going to get 32 pounder artillery. You're going to get two 24 pounder howitzers. That's four slots of artillery. So that means you have two spaces left for regular line. To be honest, it's probably not impossible at this stage to say, okay, all of you men that are currently garrisoning Damascus, head over to Baghdad. Oh, we've already got a church school. I'm a goon. Well, two is not so bad. We don't necessarily need the money from Baghdad. And it will it potentially allows us to get an extra uh, religious, two religious agents in this part of the world, which is quite useful. My militia, go down to Basra, kick out that Ottoman fleet. Ours it is, and we want it. Uh, some of those, in some of those infantry were probably infantry that could have gone into this army, but whatever. Oh, I should have done that. Nine spaces. Okay, so if I just treat, eh, I don't necessarily need to leave it all down to Damascus. So you've got five spaces left. That is one turn of recruitment for Damascus. Good stuff. Make sure the infrastructure's on point. Because with the infrastructure at least, that's kind of the trickier thing to keep an eye on. Lots of other... All these other building options have large gold and hammers over them. So if you, if you it's difficult to really miss them. Okay, good stuff. So, Rebellion in Courland. Not a problem. Just auto that. <laughs> Just auto that to push them away. Minus one there, they're fine. They're not going to go for Riga. So I was hoping I could try and... 
squeeze some more space out of the Russians here, but it looks like I'm not going to get it. One more turn to you get defences. So let's recruit one more turn of nothing but infantry. And then this army can head southeast to threaten Moscow. You can't really go anywhere until the army to the north is, resort, is fixed or defeated. So that's two more turns for Stockholm's army to be done. You could probably march north, but no worries, leave them where they are. The main thing is going to be pushing here around Anchorage. So if we go and take... Well, Ardabo and Yerevan is going to be tricky because we're going to be fighting over... fighting against the Russians here as well. So it's possible that we end up wanting to build a couple of armies down here. To squeeze, well, to add some more, add some more infantry into this Caucasus fight, and be aware of the fact that the uh, Persians are coming. But if we can knock out Ardabel and Yerevan, we could make a sprint to An Ankara, take the city, and knock out the Ottomans for good. Don't have to worry about the recruitment. But the main thing is we've got this fight over here. So this army under Mr. Heinemann. Come out of your fort. This army in reserve can secure the fort. You men run right up into his face. Oh, that's probably not necessarily the best direction because he might run that way. Ah oh, well, let's do it. Let's keep on pushing. I may siege Iasi with my army to see if I can draw anyone else away to reinforce them. That's an option. It's definitely an option. Yeah, I just need to crank some turns, get more troops recruited so I can exploit other flanks. So. Were I... a computer... The best way to upset the computer when they've got lots of cavalry is to aim at said cavalry with artillery because they get very unhappy very unhappy so if I take two of my fusiliers and deploy them like so mass another handful of men on my left flank I mean the, the hill on the left is the more enticing option but in general, she might 24 pounders might go up here. To be honest, that's a really good view. But no, I'm going to fight on the lower ground. Because the AI's got a very bad habit. Very bad habit. It likes to go for... It likes to go for this artillery team specifically. This class of artillery team. So that's why they're not limbered up. Deploy stakes, unlimber them. Try target my howitzers to engage their cavalry. Because that's <laughs> just perfect. Two lines of stakes, just to add a bit more resiliency. You can tell they're already trying to push the flanks. Well, that's okay, most of their cavalry is just provincial cavalry. Come on, man. Place your stakes. I mean, they've stretched out a long way. They might even get charged, interestingly. <laughs> you lost some men to be fired upon. Chum's bodyguards coming right at us. Push my cavalry forward. The canister shot the general's bodyguard because he's wandered right in front of my guns. 
suddenly his men have decided, oh, that's terrible, that's a bad plan, don't do that. Retarget my guns. Send in the cavalry, push up my left flank. See, there we go, their cavalry is just not that great. Twenty-four pounders. What are you shooting at? You should be focusing on their guns. See, I've attacked their cavalry with my howitzers, and now they've suddenly gone into charge mode. They go blasting this line with cavalry. We blew a hole into their formation here. But let's see where their. So yeah, their cavalry are targeting on my howitzers and they just went, they did originally, ran straight at me. You men form square. It's their general's bodyguard, so whoever their commander is, he's just throwing away his life so rashly. My horse grenadier guards are going after their provincial cavalry. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta be mindful. Okay, everyone, all my howitzers is focused on this mercenary unit to the rear. Because that... <laughs> I mean, it worked, kind of. Lost a bunch of my own horse grenadier guards, but whatever. That last regiment of foot shouldn't last very long. You men push out. This poor unit of infantry. Okay, right. Gunners switched around shot. Bombard those infantry that are sat back here in cover. They are shattered, so they're not going to attack my artillery from behind. So imagine if you're my horse grenadier guards fighting the general's bodyguard going, is there any help? No one can help us. And suddenly, over the hill, you hear a rumbling. <laughs> Here come the cuirassier, yeah, musket balls flying in the sky. How about you? It's another enemy general unit killed. And charge on into the 16th. These men can be, will be defeated by my infantry folding them up. Cease fire all my artillery. Bring my general to the fight. You should be okay against that unit of infantry. Let's start the cleanup. Actually, go for that gun crew. They're dragging their gun with them, so they'll take. Well, to be honest, I suppose that means they should have been dealt with at last. And my general's also in there now, because I just ran my men on in. Actually, my grenadiers are looking upset. Run my cavalry out of there. You men focus on the militia. See, I managed to rescue my general and stop him from dying. Whew. Hey, hold the phone. Oh, these are all the irregulars and the skirmishers. I hate these guys. We are going to continue. I yeah, managed to make my horse grenadiers, horse grenadier guard route, but that's not entirely surprising. They're already low strength, and the volley from skirmishers can be quite devastating. We 
he meant to do a bit of hammering as well. Although you are only dragoons, so might have been a bit silly to send you against regular infantry on your own, especially when you were depleted, but still, at least it's an infantry unit that will be no more. Excellent. That's another infantry unit going down. I think that's the last one. Yes, if you're going to bolster your armies now, Poland, you're going to have to do it with fresh troops. Yeah, okay, that's the that's a good direction. You may replenish, push up the north. Okay, I think the yeah, realistic, the only thing I can do is just keep poking and see what they do. I mean, I don't know what condition these armies are in do i just push for the capital no there's a, there's a force here but you're gonna go for ardabil if it's not garrisoned we'll just demand the surrender which it isn't we'll demand surrender and then move on some good stuff here yeah, we've got men in the mines okay so well, paris might be a bad choice we're going to use you fellas here in Madrid as the core of a new army. I like Freikorps cavalry. 312s. 312 foot artillery, two howitzers. Well, that's three spaces left. So then here in Lisbon, we will recruit two sharpshooters. We've got a lot of territory over here. We haven't actually kept up to date either don't need two happiness buildings there but why not when we're, we're past the point of needing to min max there we go cool grand on the last port upgrade there we go so we're putting up another army here which will in two turns actually will sail probably take Hagliari, then probably take Valletta because we, we do need to clean them up and then sail into the Balkans area. You are going to put Iassi under siege. Just to see if we can draw any armies out of this pocket. And I'm hoping I can... Without triggering their interception. Potentially get into a position where we can intercept them. That's the call of rebellion. We dealt with that. Screw some infantry, because we probably use it at some point. 256. Cool. Uh, you're going to lose the infantry unit and gain two Lieb regiments. And you're going to not get that guy either. This can be part of the problem about recruiting to an army, is that you can... It can be quite easy to lose where those units are actually being recruited from. Ah -ha. This is the sort of thing we wanted to see. We're going to defend. So we're going to fight. I mean, we're going to blow past the, uh, ti the timer on this one, but I think we need to do that every so often in order to uh, actually make some progress, I think. But yeah, we're going to form up we're going to defend, and we're going to let the enemy come at us, because we're going to have Poland and Russia attacking at once. And I actually remember, I don't remember if we get reserves. I did not check. That uh, will be fine. I hope. Ooh. So we are not going to defend, we're not going to fight for the hill. We're going to be fighting at the back. It's not gonna it's gonna reduce the effectiveness of our artillery to some degree. Okay, seamen so form up. So you're deployed, you're not deployed, so you could deploy here. 
two infantry plus grenadiers can deploy out on the flank. You've got two elite infantry units holding your flank. These howitzers are going to have to do work. And the main thing is, I've got to hope they don't come in behind us. Because the AI does like to do that. Blunderbuss shotgunners, cover the rear. Uh, let's maybe put my... Freikorps cavalry on the left. Because we're actually a bit weak on shooters on this flank. Oh, for God's sake. And it's the Russians. Which Russian, though? Oh, it's just attack ground right here. It may not be the big scary, although they might have a couple of big scaries. Cursier, Grenadiers. Oh, my curiosity, you guys can do some good work against the general's bodyguard. Okay, you guys can fire a will. Hohenzollern, you men intercept the general's bodyguard. Both of these units focus on the curiosity air. This gun team needs to just hunker down. These gunners are useless. Limber them up. Push. In case we've dealt with one cavalry unit, but we're about to get smashed. Oh, Garda Chaval, my Freikorps cavalry. Book it, book it, book it. Grenadiers get in there after the Curassier. Okay, this is gone terribly wrong. Form square, damn it. Howitzers engage the infantry, they're advancing. These howitzers are in. <laughs> okay, your new blunderbuss shotgunners are gonna have to engage. We've got enemy cavalry pushing through our ranks. Okay, this is real bad. You man, try drag your guns back. Hussars, go for the grenadiers. Curassier, push in. God, they just swarmed that front. They just absolutely swarmed it. Grenadier Lieb Regiment. Try get back. You men, try get back. It's moments like this, and they're going, I hope I've got reserves. How it says get back. Ah, oh, you guys are getting stuck on something like that. Look how much that's slowing them down. You guys just have to fight. There's nothing to it. I am getting reinforcements, but from a funky direction. At least we are getting reinforcements. A 
them by the guns and pound. Pound them. All of this stuff here is just trying to buy time. Including the heroic stand of this general. Engage. So you men are fighting against the Grenadiers. We've killed another enemy general. Freikor cavalry unsurprisingly are going down. That line infantry unit try to drop into square. This general's coming over here to man this defensive position. Howitzers and Limber. It's very important to know there are times that you when you do just pull the plug. Especially when you've got some nuclear weapons like this. Attack ground here. They gotta reload first. Okay, they're loaded. Fire! No, ah, oh, it's not giving a sound. Oh well, we fired low, so. <laughs> How about you? Concentrate on your firepower! <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. These cuirassier get over here rapidly because we've got enemy skirmishes. They're going to pick apart my formations. All of my artillery focus on that formation of enemy troops. All of it. There's friendlies in there, but those friendlies are fixing the enemy in position. You men are going to push up to face off against the enemy. There we go. The guns that are bouncing, the gunshots that are bouncing through there are going to do a lot of good work. Come on, you men. Engage. So we're going to start hitting the warband with skirmisher fire. You men attack that unit. Because if you, then the, the the extra damage you do will go through into the men behind. Artillery isn't really what we need, but I'll take it. I'll wander it over into this position. The enemy cavalry, the enemy line is pushing on. So let's blunderbuss shotgunners by time. Gunners switch to canister shot. Engage the enemy. Close range. Cavalry out of the way. Okay, this gun team is beyond the pale. We don't need that many gun teams. Or do we? We end set up needing to set up a, a, a tertiary defensive position. Go after the blunderbuss shotgunners. Curassier go for the garrison guards because they've been weakened somewhat. And we're pouring fire into these men in the flank as fast as we can. Curassier, get ready because we've got enemy. The enemies are aware this is where our reinforcements are coming in from.
Light cavalry sharpshooters get up and start engaging the line. Oh, they are just... They are, they just are just swarming us everywhere. Very well, you men may actually set up a defensive position. Actually, no, over here is better. But it's going to be tough. It's difficult to just abandon... Just abandon armies to abandon men to nothing and just be like, no, okay, they're all gonna die. Because, yeah, like they're just charging my gunners and there's not a lot I can do. You men can fall back. Can't really do much about the left, though, although you're gonna roll on. Roll on into the enemy line. This general's going to do a bit of a sneaky sneak. Pull the howitzers over onto this hill as well. Reload! Send my general in. He needs to fight. That's why he needs to engage the enemy here to try and get a morale cascade going. It's one broken. The enemy volley fire has managed to break. Another of my units. Wait a minute, where's 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 Cavalry. Well, look at what these guys are doing. They've just let the hussars run away from them. They had orders to engage, but they decided, nah. I'm gonna let them run around of their own accord. So now my guys form square. Okay, keep fighting this block of fusiliers. This fighting position has not, cannot yet be surrendered. Although the, these, these gunners are bugged. But one gun firing out of three. Oh, you're lucky. Blast them, sharpshooters. Engage the garrison guards. So we've, we've, there we go. we've broken this cavalry unit. With the loss of a bunch of line infantry. Gunners engage the 104th. All they can do is just keep on fighting. And these men have returned, get them back into the line. My cuirassier in, fight the garrison guards. My Jaeger deploy stakes. We are vulnerable because our defensive position is away from our line. General's bodyguard, go get that line infantry, plus one line. New men form up. New men form up. Yeah, the general has fallen. 
I mean, though, it looks like they're starting to run out of men before I'm running out of men. You men, did you place your stakes? No, you can't place stakes. Toggle line infantry behave, yes, they spread out. Twenty-four pounders and limber. Provide as much support as they can at range. Howitzers keep engaging the enemy. Maybe go for the horse grenadier guards. Hurrah! Okay, we've got another infantry unit in the re in our re as, a re as a reinforcement. Uh, okay, this gun switched to round shot, found the horse going to do guards. You men switched to round shot, found the reinforcements coming in. Oh, it's so it's still firing. Try go after the third regiment of Moskovsky Dragoons. Twenty-four pounders also engage those horse grenadier guards because they're particularly sturdy cavalry units. No, Cressio Red Taxi, don't go for it. Make your way around to go after their guns. I said no, damn it. Yeah, we've got cavalry on our flank. Line infantry can't form square. Oh, you fired it. You killed a howitzer unit that's coming in to reinforce. That's just perfect. Two brand spanking new infantry units. Did you get those Moscow Dragoons? You didn't. To be honest though, it actually looks like everyone's kind of running out of men. So even though this might be the last throw of the dice, For this army, oh, you have no, you have no ammunition left. 128th, however, can load and fire. The 38th can engage the second. See, this is why I talked about making sure that I was within range of all my other support because could you imagine if I didn't have any of that but we managed to ooh that's very interesting it's so engaging the 81st 38th have the order to march Back after the grenadiers, because looks they've dismounted. All this artillery focus on their howitzer, my howitzer engage. The second, the 128th, come after the eighth. The gunners up on this hill. Both engage the blunderbuss shotgunners. These men advance. Could really do with some cavalry now. <laughs> oh, 
artillery ceasefire. Or well, maybe not all of you. blend up our shotgunners because they're only light infantry so they should be upset at the idea of being attacked good quick climb hit on those the 81st regiment that should be then done combined with the artillery fire it definitely is and we've got one last engagement against the eighth fresh engagement here against the second and this army charge in to support attacking the 8th Regiment of Dragoons. It cost me two great officers, but what can you do? Huzzah! God, that was... that was... It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily Pyrrhic, because we've got... We've got more troops in reserve, but yeah, that's... oof. You devils go. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Because now, suddenly... Ah! They got through my line. But yeah, now suddenly that... It was previously quite a nasty pocket. Of uh, <laughs> Polish and Russian troops. But now... It's take, we've taken a bit of a hammering. And it's going to take us some time to reconstitute our forces. But... We have one more army in the region that's currently untouched. Actually, maybe two. One that came in right at the end of that engagement, then one yeah, on the mountains to the south. So we have options. See, I knew that was a matter of time. As soon as you get a border with a new country, the AI just goes up, up. I don't like that very much. So now the army that's heading up to Ardabil is going to just... Actually, no, we've got some good reinforcements. Call-in rebels can raid as much as they like. Do not care about call-in rebels. Restraining things, you're not going to get there in turn. And there's a limit to how many men you can recruit, so you may come storming back. But it depends on how confident these guys are of attacking. Because they are depleted... But, so, down here. Yeah, this army was depleted, but currently wasn't wasn't previously involved. This army was quite badly beaten. So you need one more cavalry, one artillery. One cavalry, one foot artillery, one howitzer, one skirmisher. So let's go for... Curacy, yeah, let's go for a 24 pounder. Let's go for a 12 pounder artillery piece and let's go for. Hmm. An interesting unit of infantry. Maybe some skirmishers. Sharpshooters would be a good idea. Marines also, elite Jaegers. Likely sharpshooters. Hendrik. Uh, this is the force that's largely in good shape. So you can attack the city. Uh, just auto that. Should be fine. Largely. We effectively fought that action. And also we can deal with a bit of a bit more attrition because you guys are already quite badly attrited. But at least, actually, Mr. Hartman. Yeah, your stuff's already been done. Mr. Heinemann, who's in good shape. We've also got Jacob Leitner, who was to the south. Could probably do with someone like you moving eastward. Potentially with some 
support. Because we will see some uh, movement in this direction, I would imagine. Unless you just pull back from your siege, which is it's okay to pull back. Just to be in a position to keep herding them east. Because we don't necessarily, well we can't surround them. But we can take Mr. Leitner to pursue and destroy any remaining troops. But looking at the timer, it's definitely time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for more pressure against the Poland and Russian front. Cheers, everyone.